So as you guys already know, we detailed uh, last week what's going on with the SNAP program, or as it used to be called, food stamps. So it was cut during the sequester, then it was further cut in committee, and then Republicans proposed another cut. And I love how when they were debating that, the Republicans were talking on the floor of Congress like it hadn't already been cut twice. I mean, they're just, they're, they're jokes, they're utter jokes. So Representative Stephen Fincher, who's a Tennessee Republican, was debating Representative Juan Vargas, a California Democrat, uh, on the floor of Congress. And Vargas, the Democrat, said, hey, look, man, most of you guys are Christians, so shouldn't we actually treat the poor well? Isn't there a good argument to be made for that? And then, not to be outdone, Representative Stephen fin Fincher, the uh, Republican, quoted the Old Testament when he said, the one who's unwilling to work shall not eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got it, man. That's, that's, the, that's the gist of the Bible right there. Uh, let's make the poor suffer and starve. And don't you love how they always, these are supposedly Christians, but they go back to the Old Testament, which, by the way, I don't know if a lot of Christians know this, uh, Jewish people, that's the Jewish faith, to believe in the first part of the Bible. So you're quoting from that half, so I guess you're Jewish then, right? No, no, because if you're Christian and you believe in Jesus, wouldn't you quote from the New Testament, being that that's what Christians believe in, that's what separates Christians from Jews? No, they're, they're, they're such clowns. They're such clowns. Uh, and disregarding the, uh, what is it, 9,716 comments that Jesus made in favor of the poor and to treat your neighbor well and to care about the downtrodden. But no, no, he cherry-picked the one comment from the Old Testament, which was uh, barbaric, right? Well... So, of course, this guy, Representative Stephen Fincher, is uh, known for hating the government and hating welfare and subsidies and always wants smaller government because that's a Republican. Republican always oh, uh, drowned the government in a bathtub. Who was it that said that? I forget which Republican said that. No, I don't want to get rid of government. I just want to be able to drown it in the bathtub. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm so witty. I'm so witty. Uh, well... Turns out that uh, Representative Stephen Fincher, he owns a, a farm. Hmm. And it's not a small farm either. It's a 2,500-acre farm in western Tennessee. You see where this is going? Uh, he takes millions of dollars in federal farm subsidies. Fincher also took a grant from the state of Tennessee, as did his father, and the grant allowed for uh, the hardworking taxpayers of Tennessee to buy his family new farm equipment and work-related materials. He got it for free. What happened, big guy? I thought you loved small government. I thought you care about the virtues of the free marketplace. And if you're hungry, you starve. You starve, goddammit. Not gonna get any help from the government. Puh, puh. And by the way, when it comes to food stamps, what's the ridiculous low number? What is it, $1.50 per day or per meal or $3 or whatever it is? It's the most m tiny amount you could possibly imagine. It basically barely keeps people alive, keep it real, right? But no, he's against that. But when it comes to him, oh, give me big government all day long. What, are you kidding me? Cut me my welfare check. I need my welfare check. 